What is going on everyone? This is your man King May coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel. Y'all today we are back on Autumn Oaks. Gotta keep this series going. I have been absolutely in love with this map. It's just been a lot of fun, man. And uh, being very uh, close to home, it's not quite as close as Marksville, Wisconsin, but you know what? just the map the feel of the map and everything that this map has to offer man it's been an absolute pleasure being able to do some role playing on this map today i am alone and we still have quite a bit to do here it is mid autumn as you guys can see day seven of autumn here and we're hitting the fields and we're trying to get the last little bit of triticale and we're gonna do things a little bit different this next year around for autumn oaks i'm thinking aside from the triticale that the first cutting of grass is all all of it every bit of it uh is gonna go right into the harvest stores and get that in for haylage second cutting will be all completely bales get stocked up on bales and then i think we'll go ahead for the third cutting just basing off of how this year has been going we split first cutting and second cutting we kind of split in half between haylage and for hay bales but hey if you guys do enjoy the video today make sure you go ahead tap that thumbs up button for me and of course if you haven't yet subscribed here to the king May community make sure you go ahead and you do that for me now now taking a look at finances we're at about one hundred and sixty one thousand dollars but i do have some debt now so Judging from the comments with you all, I ended up making a pretty big decision for the farm that ended up you know, like putting us into a loan situation. I, you know, there were quite a lot of you guys that just wanted to still see that 2388. And hey, I do apologize, but there is a kicker. There's kind of a reason that ended up selling me on the new combine. And I suppose I'm giving it away. The new combine that we did get for the farm on why i ended up purchasing it so i will show you that that in a little bit because we're going to be harvesting our uh, one of our last fields of soybean directly behind us is our, going to be our very last field of soybean very small not much to it we're going to go ahead we're going to keep seeding down this triticale and i'm going to catch up with you all here after oh i missed a little spot there exclamation point b myers i'll have to come back we'll have to hit that little spot in a little bit all right y'all we're folding up just got out and i checked we are low on fertilizer so we're gonna head on back and get this topped off with fertilizer and uh i don't know with fertilizer the nitrogen is pretty low on this field we did end up purchasing this one a little bit ago farm has expanded quite a bit this year already and i'm really excited about next year because we should have quite a bit more money rolling in but we're gonna keep going on that later on seems how it is about one o'clock in game now the dew should be well and burned off on the soybeans we're gonna get out there we're gonna get to testing them i did get the end rows finished up with the old 2388 we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get the old 4955 parked up back here for right now and i'm gonna start showing you guys the new equipment that we have on the farm here so heading on over here give you guys a look of the headers that we ended up grabbing now we sold the 2388 and both headers and all of that combined ended up paying for our headers so headers are completely paid off the only loan that we have out is for the combine itself we went ahead and grabbed some green 635 so we got a 35 foot bean header now we're gonna have to get that out to the field probably hook that behind the combine make that one trip now a little dirty just because we still have some more corn yet to go but we did grab ourselves a gearing off 12 row header right here very excited about this going to match up with our planter very nicely as we do have the john deere 12 row planter now so now let's go ahead let's get the old girl fired up show you what we got cooking here all right so we ended up going big at least big for us anyways these tracks really do look nice now i wasn't looking on getting anything quite this big but she was used Got quite a few hours on her, 9770 STS. And the, I figured the tracks would actually be a really nice feature here on the farm. Key compaction low. Got the cold start, baby. Oh my goodness. Sounds so good. 
There she goes. Such a phenomenal sounding cold start. I'm loving, loving this combine. So let's go ahead very carefully. We're gonna get this girl out. We're gonna get her topped off with fuel. And as I got back, oh, wait a minute. Oh, goodness gracious. I forgot we did not get the hitch option on the STS. Oh, what, a, oh my goodness. We're gonna get the combine down there and then we're gonna have to make a couple more trips. As we're back in the old 6-0 up in the farm, we're gonna hook onto that header trailer. My goodness, she is getting awfully dirty. We're gonna have to give everything a good bath before winter time. But it's a work truck, it's a Ford 6-0, baby. She's meant to be dirty. Now, I would bring the grain carts as well, but having a bit of an issue with the grain carts. We're just gonna mainly use the grain carts here for getting our corn sold off and the soybeans sold for that matter. I'd like to keep some of the soybean to make our own soybean meal here. And we will be doing that a bit, but gotta worry about that loan now. Should be ready to roll here. We're gonna go ahead and let's get that truck on down here as well. All right, so we are ripping away on into this field. I do have one cut kind of diagonal. I was gonna go diagonal on this one with the smaller header just to allow us more unloading, but seems how we got a big old STS now. I'm thinking we just go ahead, hit this old girl a long ways here. We should be able to make her down. And then that way on the way back, we can unload with our auger out. Now that we do have the truck down here as well. I am very, very happy with this purchase though. I will say I'm absolutely loving the cold start on this SDS. Now I am gonna look at who ended up modding this one. I'm not really sure. My man Hoberman was the one that had this SDS. So I'm not really sure. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be commenting down below asking about it and i'm honestly not sure so i will look into it for y'all in the next video i will do my best to make sure i let you guys know just what just who exactly ended up making this combine all right so we did end up coming on back down i had just a little bit on the top side here of that little ravine and uh well i figured let's go ahead got room in the tank here don't need to unload just yet. Let's get this kind of rough portion done right here. So we're done with this and we can pretty much lock on for the rest of the time. So far doing really, really well though, as we pull the HUD back up here, we're running about 86.1 bushel to the acre, which honestly not mad about at all. And like I said, we did do the work on planting this field, however, we didn't really have any sort of uh, nitrogen down on this field and and uh, it never really got applied. So the nitrogen is kind of low. I believe liming was done on this field, if I do remember right. Now, I did want to let you guys know this as well, just in case if you weren't aware for Autumn Oaks, I noticed that Dennis actually paid attention to the precision farming. Now, maybe it was a fluke. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna verify this on the other field that we did with night that we did with soybean because I did make sure that nitrogen was applied to that field and we got it up. So soybean generally in a rotation would add or keep nitrogen in the ground for you. That's a lot of times why you see farmers rotating soybean in on their corn fields. And sometimes you'll do corn on corn, but you gotta kind of watch it. You gotta maybe side dress some nitrogen on to get those numbers up. However, the one field that we did harvest so far of soybean actually kept our nitrogen on the field. So I'm really, really excited. I think Dennis actually did pay attention to that for the precision farming. Now I could be wrong. We're gonna prove this out the rest of the way with that other field that I did from all myself anyways now like i said this one we seeded we were trying to help out shane but i'm just really curious we're gonna see we're gonna find out here but let me know let me know in that comment section if you guys have been noticing that the little uh, attention to detail that dennis has been doing now looks like we you know, i'm kind of missing a spot right there we're gonna try and pick that as best we can here now i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of section this field off here this is a bit of a hill so i'm going to get the pipe out now let me kind of go forward a little bit here let me kind of make a little bit of a spot where it's not quite as hilly pretty much where my pipe is right now is where i would like to unload let's get that little section out 
I'd like to continue on that GPS line right there, though. We'll sort of section this field off here. All right, and we are unloading. Not gonna lie, y'all. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal grain sample in here, you guys. John Deere is doing a great job. 2388, we're, you know, it was good for its age. I'm not gonna lie, the sample is quite a bit more clean on this. And we're gonna continue on. So y'all, with that being said, I'm probably gonna call this one here a video. I know it was quite a bit of talking and a little bit slow paced. We didn't quite do as much here, but you know what? That's just kind of where we're at right now. Things are gonna pick up though when Halage picks off once more again. We kind of got a little bit of a break, but we got more corn silage that we need to go ahead and get harvested here on Autumn Oaks. We're gonna have quite a bit of grass fields. And I'm, th I'm thinking, like I said earlier, we're not really gonna worry about hay bales too much more. We'll just focus on cutting the grass as we can here this fall and getting haylage going. And then, uh, yeah, we really don't have much more. One more field of corn that we gotta pick and get shelled up and then soybeans, of course. We got this field rolling. This is a pretty big field. We're going to be working on this one here today. And we got another small one to finish up. So with that being said, y'all, we're going to keep cranking away on the acres with this old STS. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.